Good morning brothers. So this is we are going to deal with the fourth lesson. The lesson is digging by Sima Sini. In this lesson I have divided into eight parts. First is a recitation of the poem. Second is about the author and third is a small summary of the poem and the fourth one is theme of the poem and fifth is character of the poem and sixth is stanza by stanza explanation of the poem and seventh summary of the poem and eighth conclusion the pen is mightier than the sword so here i go for the recitation of the poem between my finger and my thumb the squat pen rest snap as a gun under my window a clean rasping sound when the spade sinks into the gravel ground my father digging i look down till his straining rounds among the flower beds bend slow comes up 20 years away stooping in rhythm through potato drills where he was digging the coarse boot nestled on the lag the shaft against the inside knee was lever formed he rooted out tall tops buried the bright earth deep to scatter new potatoes that we picked loving their cool hardness in our hand by god the old man could handle a spade just like his old man my grandfather cut more tart in a day than any other man on toner's bog once i carried him milk in a bottle cropped slowly with paper he straightened up to drink it then fell to right away nicking and slicing neatly heaving so over his shoulder going down and down for the good tough digging the cold smell of potato mold the squelch and slap of soggy feet the cut curls of an earth through living roots awaken in my head but i am no sway to follow men like them between my finger and my thumb the squat pen rest i'll dig with it now let us look at about the author a little summary after the little summary we will go to about the author here the topic the subject is digging written by simon sin digging all of na, all of us know that it is means a tilling the ground or making hole the ground or unearthing or bringing out from the earth something else here digging the poem is mostly spoken by simon sini about digging means here makes as a writing digging is one of the most widely known poem by the irish poet simon sini and served as the opening poem of hini's debut 1996 poetry collection death of a naturalist it begins with the speaker hovering over a blank page with a pen preparing to write the speaker then reflects on the work ethics and skills of his father and grandfather both of whom worked the land as a farmer though the speaker is breaking with that specific filial tradition the speaker present writing as its own kind of label with speaker vowing to dig with his pen now let us look at the biography so here biography or auto, or or the about the author we we see little or not a very detail about him but a very little we can see about him the author is here simon sini simon sini is widely known as the most significant and influential poet of the 20th century 
He was the first to nine children, born on 13th of April 1939 in a country dairy in Northern Ireland. His father was a farmer and a cattle dealer, while his mother's his, she was working in a local linen mill. As 11 years old, he won a scholarship to a St. Columbus College. During his time at that school, one of his younger brothers was killed in an automobile accident. In 1957, he traveled to Belfast to study English at Queen's University, Belfast where he wrote poems that appeared in the school's literary magazine. He earned the teacher's certificate in English at St. Joseph College in Belfast. Later, he took a position as an English lecturer in the same college. While at St. Joseph, he began to write, joining the poetry workshop in Derek Mohan, Michael Longley, and other under the guidance of Philip in 1965, he married Mary Delvin, and the following years, he published Death of a Naturalist, his first work which is focused on the rural lifestyle of Northern Ireland. His later works, Wintering Out and North, dealt with more contemporary topics. His final book, The Human Chain, deals with themes such as loss, regret, and death. Heaney died in 30th August 2013. He won the Nobel Prize of Literature in 1995 and the Heaney and White Bread Prize twice. The poems mimic natural speech, but their colloquial nature is balanced by Heaney. Close to attention, sound, and his knowledge of formal poetry. So, now let us look at the another one that is the little about this little about summary of the poem a study guide digging appears in Seymour Sinney's first major volume of poetry called death of naturalist the poem in the book deals with mainly in his rural upbringing his family how his identity formed in that environment. The book was received well by the critics, who mostly praised his evocative and almost unmetic poet language and his insight into his childhood from the perspective of an adult. Despite his talent with language, Heaney was sometimes criticized in his career for being too anglicized to be held up at the exemplary Irish poet. However, Ireland's internal strife and the fracture in the language, culture, identity between people living there certainly influenced in his poetry. One of his instincts is to approach Ireland vertically, digging through the successive layer of mythology and history, like excavating a bog. Later in his career, Heaney would publish a collection called North. This collection includes poems. <clears throat> now, let us look at the theme of the poem. He writes the poem, and in this poem, there are many themes. We can go like a inheritance is one of the themes, work is another theme, and sustenance in another theme, and manual labor is another theme. There are four themes like inheritance, work, sustenance, and manual labors. There are in this there are four themes. Let us consider one by one. First one is inheritance. This poem focuses strongly on what the speaker has inherited from his father and his grandfather. Their work ethics and consistency stand out to him the most. He thinks of how long his father has been doing the same thing over and over and the strength with which his grandfather dug. When the speaker says he has no space to follow men like them, his voice is tinged with sorrow. 
that he feels he has inherited the spirit with which the dog, even if he has not chosen a different path, <coughs> he tries to liken writing to digging. Whereas, <coughs> because breaking away, <coughs> because breaking away from the tradition makes him feel like an outsider, like he cannot fully understand his father and grandfather. The poem is his attempt to tie himself into his heritage. The next thing is work. Work might be the most important thing in his poem. The speaker focuses on his own craft as well as the craft of his father and grandfather. He distinguishes between the different types of digging for flowers, potatoes and peas and much of his language expresses the strenuous nature of farming work. The speaker does not spend as much as time explicating his own craft, but that may be because the poem itself is meant to be evidence of his skill as a writer. The next theme is sustenance. Sustenance appears as a significant theme in this poem, since his father and grandfather dig for different things. The speaker focuses more on how the work they did that sustain their families than on the particular object of their labor. Though clearly the potatoes and the peas play important role in the speaker's memory. The bottle of the milk that the speaker brings its grandfather emphasizes the importance of sustenance through the source like food. But the speaker's role carrying the milk tells the reader the fam family plays an important part in the idea of sustenance. Sustaining a family is the goal of work, but it is also foundation upon which every person builds his or her career. Last theme is manual labor. This poem, though it is description of farm work as a precise and portrays a farm work digging romantically. Though the work is clearly shown as hard work, the speaker does not mention the toll it may have taken upon his father and grandfather. This may signify some oversight on the part of the speaker, but perhaps the speaker deliberately focuses on the work ethics and strength of his family members instead of the cost of these attributes. So next we shall look into the characters. There are mainly four characters and we can look at who, who all are there in this poem. First one is speaker and speaker's father and speaker's grandfather and we. So, Speaker. Speaker describes a pen as a being equivalent of his father's and grandfather's faith. He is a writer and he speaks wistfully his ancestor practice. He also values his own trait. He used to take part in the potato picking process, presumably when he was a boy and young man. For in the fourth slander, he describes the potatoes that we picked. So, some of his knowledge of potato harvesting is from his own experience. However, he has broken from his lineage. Second person is the speaker's father. Speaker's father digs out his window and speaker thinks about how he has seen his father do this from the past 20 years. And he is good at it according to the speaker who marvels at his father's strength. And third person is speaker's grandfather. The speaker looks beyond his father to his grandfather. He remembers that his grandfather was best work out of all of them, worked on the same boat. And he remembers witnessing his grandfather's hard work as a boy. The next person is we. The speaker does not clarify who we in this poem is. Possibly it could refer to the speaker and his father. However, 
it could also refer to the sibling or other members of the family. Now, let us look at the stanza by stanza. 